Would you guys still talk to me if I got an e-bike? Where is he? He's over there. What's up everybody? It's your boy, the Otter Biker. So today we're reporting from Toro Park again because it's open. Anyways, the plan for today was to show you this awesome trail because it has a neat secret to it, but it's super hot and I don't want to climb again. So I'm just going to take you down the halfway point or a little secret shortcut because I've seen some of you guys complain on Instagram saying, oh man, Tor Park, a lot of climbing. I'll never go back. Well, I agree. It's a lot of climbing. It's better than Fort Orch. So let's go. Alrighty, boys. So we made it to the tree stump which is this bad boy right here. It's where you take a break as you're going up to 1800. Anyways, update on the bike. I installed a new cable or cable housing, which is silver. In reality, I should have gone red to better match the bike, but silver is cool. Anywho, it shifts like trash. I ordered a new hanger. I'm gonna get a new derailleur for sure because it's just, it's Dunzo's. So I'm gonna take it to the shop today. Anywho, this video is for you guys who haven't been to Toro and don't want to climb all the way to the top, 1800. And for those of you complaining on Strava, because I've seen those two, we're going to do this trail, which is called Rail. Check out the video I made on it. It's one of my favorite trails. And it's going to take us to like a halfway point or like a little shortcut to pipeline. And all the way to the top, it's like the halfway point before the gate. Alrighty, boys, we are live. So this is the entrance to Rail. There used to be a sign right here but it's not anymore, it probably burned down. So, I know you guys heard me mention that Fort Ord is better, I mean, Toro Park is better than Fort Ord, and well, I think it's true for a couple reasons. For one, I thought I was like, not like super fast, but I thought I was decently fast, but Fort Ord doesn't really challenge you. Especially after riding the same trails over and over, you just learn them, you learn how to ride them. So, at least here, some of the trails are actually steep, a little bit harder, and you can just train better. You also don't have to worry so much about hikers because it's really. Woo, almost ran over a squirrel! Jump! We're really far in there. But this right here is the halfway point to the pipe. We're gonna see what's good. And yeah, so like here in Tor Park, you don't have to worry so much about hikers. The, the downhill rules or the trail rules, which we'll talk about later. It's going to be a fun video. And um, yeah, like uh, it's just better overall practice for you guys. Especially if you're not good at climbing like me. I'm more into mountain biking where you work for the climb, work for the reward. So big climb and reward yourself with a big downhill. So we're on, I don't know what you would consider this, like a halfway point shortcut type of deal. It took me approximately 40 minutes, 45 minutes to get to the top. Also, I know I made a video in the past that's like, oh, this trail, super dangerous. Some guy was like, bro, that trail's not dangerous, you're whack. And I was like, Dude, well, if you don't have any skills, this trail can actually be super hard and challenging for a beginner. So if you're not ready yet, I definitely don't recommend you do this trail. Woo! But yeah, boys, I thought I was like decently fast. But after running the same trails, I just ended up learning them, learning how to run them. So I didn't really improve my skills. I didn't really ride anywhere else. And Toro was closed. It's definitely loose. Little drop. I also have a tube in the back, so let's hope it holds up against these rocks. But yeah, I know the climb to the top really sucks. <laughs> for me, it's a hike-a-bike for sure. 
because it's so steep. I hate this little section right here because it gets super steep. But yeah, if you guys want to practice more, do the halfway point, practice your, your climbing endurance, your descending on the pipe. That was an unexpected little lip or kicker. Woo. Ah. Another little jump. Didn't see that one. There's a little jump ahead, but I don't feel comfortable with my it, okay, we'll run it. Definitely need more air in my suspension. Yeah. Hopefully the tube in my back tire lasts. I slashed yet another tire. It's crazy how before I was like, oh man, this trail's hard. But as, as your skills improve, because there was a steep section that you heard me mention in the beginning. I was like, oh man, that's steep. And I was able to do it this time, no problem. Could be the bike. I feel like it's the first time I've ridden this trail on this bike since the fire. I can't really remember. Yep, here's all the fire damage. Here's the, the gate. The Highway 68 Hillbillies. Close the gate, Daryl. All right, boys, we're back on the bike. So this is the first time I actually ride my bike uh, after that enduro race. I'm sorry I'm lagging on the videos, but I will post them soon enough. Uh, it just feels weird. I gotta clean it, take it all apart, wash her down, grease her up, lube all the joints. Dang, look at all this fire damage. Wild. Woo, feel it in my hands though, that's for sure. This turn's sketch, so take it easy on this turn. Oh, almost went over. <laughs> Probably the best I've seen it in in years. Shout out to the trail builders working on these trails during the closing of Toro the park. Making this place rideable again. Enjoyable for everybody. Awesome trail efforts. Sketch jump right there. As you can tell, I am going slow because I don't really remember most of it. And I'm hardly been on the bike. My hands are feeling it. Whew. Up until recently, it wasn't for a while that I had a clean run on the pipe. And by clean, I mean no falls, no bike issues. So that's pretty cool. Well, not recently, like last year. I think this part, this section is a little sketch. I 
That's a sketch jump because it goes right into a branch. And then after the pipe, we go into lower, lower. This is the other side. I like that side because it has a nice little hip jump. This side's cool too though. My hands are for sure feeling it. I can't see because of the shade. Woo! Got some air right there. Got some more air right there. Thing. Yeah, so after this, I'm gonna drop off my bike at the shop, get her nice and fixed. I was actually contemplating on turning this bike into a downhill bike, but I don't know if that double crown fork will fit and getting an e-bike. <laughs> yeah, fat boy 831 over here. Pump this section. Get some air right there. And that's it, boys. That's the shortcut to the pipe. Halfway point, whatever you want to call it. Stay tuned for more Tour of the Park videos. Thanks, y'all.